welcome back to Family Gamer TV. Now, we've got into a bit of a habit of reviewing unusual or peculiar video games, um, but it's a mainstream game on the PlayStation Vita that comes from Media Molecule, the people behind Little Big Planet. It doesn't get much bigger than that. Um, but they've created a really unusual experience for family gamers. So their latest game on the PlayStation Vita is called Tearaway. Now, it's a platform game that looks slightly familiar. If you've played Little Big Planet, you'll know the sort of experience you'll be getting there. But here it's more of a 3D sort of action adventure where you're exploring a world and you um, control a little character called Iota or Atwa, depending on if it's a male or female. Um, and you get to design and style your character in the way that maybe you're slightly familiar with other Media Molecule games. And you do that with a touch screen so you can do little cutouts, you can customise him. Um, but what's interesting here is that all of Tearaway is made out of paper. So the world itself um, in the game is constructed out of paper, but the game engine does this. So it works out how it would have to fold each different element as if it was real paper. Now this means that the game can then offer these paper constructions to you as the player. So rather than getting a virtual um, trophy as you progress through Tearaway, you get physical paper graph sheets. So you can sync that with your account on their website. Um, and you go there and you print off, as you can see here, we've done for the family, you print off um, the various different items you see in the game. And you win them in the game by taking a photo of them. They start off just being white. Once you've taken a photo, they're all coloured in and you know you've, you've got that one. Now this was a really big hook to get my family and my kids into playing Tearaway. We played it a bit, I'd had a go on the game and I printed out some of these um, different papercraft characters and scenery and we had a great time over the last weekend just sort of cutting and sticking and colouring in those all together. But that got them interested in the game. Now the game itself um, is, is quite a big adventure. So you, as I say, you, you control this little sort of papercraft character. And as you do that, it tells you a story. So it's really drawing on a sort of mythology um, and the sort of old sagas and tales of uh, Norse gods and sort of creations like that. And as you progress through the world, you hear more and more of this story. And you realise that you as a player are a character in this story because the little character in the game is trying to work out who's controlling them. And you see yourself peering into the game um, from the clouds and the PlayStation Vita uses its camera to actually put you um, in the game space as well. Other interesting interactions in Tearaway, you obviously use the touch screen at the front um, to interact with different items. Some enemies you have to tap on to kill. Some parts of the scenery you sort of open and expand by sliding your screen, your finger across the screen and you also use the t the tilt controls the motion on the um, PlayStation Vita to take pictures in the world from that first person perspective but what I really like was the rear touch screen so um, you can poke your finger into the world by touching the screen at the rear and in certain places then your finger into the game um, is seen and you, you've sort of told the game when you start what color and um, what size sort of person you are um, and then that brings you into the game so it looks like your finger um, and as you move it around, you're interacting with the different enemies or sometimes you're solving puzzles. So those different elements, the different ways to control it, come together. But what's interesting here is that these elements have some real coherence. As you play the game and you sort of journey through the story, you realise that you're piecing together a tale about um, peering into and experiencing other worlds. So just as um, we sort of peer in and we experience the world of Tearaway, it also peers into our world with the cameras and with the interactions and sort of overhears and oversees um, what we're doing in our space. And the papercraft models sort of seal that deal. So we see items in the game coming um, into physical reality. Now this trend of crossover between physical and a virtual play space, as you know on our, on our um, play shelf here, we've got loads of physical toys that relate to video games. But it's nice here in Tearaway that you don't have to buy them. So just by playing through the game, you unlock and add to your account more and more of these paper craft models. And then it's down to you to spend the time rather than the money um, to create them yourselves. So this is a game that really crosses boundaries in a number of ways, um, not only in its unusual play style and the real sort of endearing experience of the adventure, um, but also in the way that it encourages crafting and some real physical creativity. So there you go, that's our review of Tearaway on the PlayStation Vita. And on that platform, you know, there's a few standout titles, and I think Tearaway really joins those AAA sort of top tier games that are a must, must buy on that platform. That's what we've got time for today on Family Gamer TV, but we'll be back with more tomorrow.